Hi guys, so today we're going to do just um, an upper body dumbbell superset workout. Before you start this though, you just need to do a bit of a warm up. Um, I just suggest just doing a bit of dynamic stretching. So arms up as forward, arms up and down, arms across your chest. Probably want to do these for about 30 seconds each. We're going to start by working the chest. We're going to do because a lot of you might not have benches, we're going to do a, a dumbbell floor press and then we're going to go straight into push ups. Okay, so we're going to do 15 reps of each. So get hold of your dumbbells and lie on your back. Just keep your back flat, knees bent, feet on the ground. Okay, start from chest width, we're going to press the dumbbells up above our chest. Okay, make sure your elbow, your arms are straight but not locked down. And nice and slowly back down until the elbows touch the floor. Okay, so nice and controlled, breathe out as you push. You do 15 reps. Once you've done 15 reps, then without a rest, you're going to go straight into push ups. So hands shoulder width apart. You're going to go on your toes, keep your back nice and level. I'm going to go full movement, chest to floor, all the way down and back up. Make sure your elbows aren't flaring out. So you do 15 of these. If that's too difficult, drop out your knees and do 15 box press ups. Do 15 of each, have about 60 seconds rest, then do the same again, then rest and then do a final set. We're now going to move on to our shoulders. So we're going to do a standing shoulder press. So, fix shoulder width apart, keep your core nice and tight, dumbbells up to the top of your shoulders. We're going to press the weight up above our head and slowly back down to shoulder height. Okay, so again, 15 reps. Keep your back nice and straight. Done 15 reps. We're going to go straight into a lateral raise. So, feet shoulder width apart again, engage your core, slight bend in your elbow, weights are going to come up. Shoulder height, slowly back down. Make sure you control the downward movement, don't just let gravity take over. Okay, so 15 reps of lateral raises. And then just repeat the process. Okay, so we've done chest and we've done shoulders, now we're gonna work our back. So we're gonna do a bent over row with a reverse fly. So with this one, again, fix shoulder width apart, we're gonna hinge back, Okay, slight bend in your knee, keep your back nice and straight. Okay, head long and straight ahead. And then as we press, we're going to pull the weights in towards our top of our abdominals and then slowly back out. Okay, so when you, when you bring the shoulder, you know, dumbbells up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep that same position. So bend over, back straight, we're going to do a reverse fly. So slight bend in your elbow. Bring the weights behind. Imagine you bring your shoulder blades together. Again, like a lateral raise, don't let the weights just drop. Use your muscles to control the weights back down. Okay, and then 15 reps. And again, rest for 60 seconds once you've done both exercises, and then repeat the process another two rows. So that's your dumbbell upper body workout. See how you get on. Remember, if it's too easy, you can always increase the reps. Um, or if you've got heavier dumbbells, and you can go, obviously, make it a bit more difficult by adding more weight. Um, and then I'll just recommend doing some, some sort of chest and shoulder stretches when you're finished. So, shoulder stretch across your arm, hold that for 15 seconds. Do the same on the other arm. Do a tricep stretch. Again, 15 seconds each. And then just a, a chest stretch, so hands at the bottom of your back, squeeze your shoulders together. And again, hold it there for 15 seconds. That's it, well done.